What's up everyone, Big Dan here, and today I'm going to show you how to get power armor training in Fallout New Vegas. Before we begin, I have a bunch of Fallout New Vegas and RPG videos on my channel, so if you're interested in seeing more, consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's dive right in. There are two different groups that can give you power armor training in Fallout New Vegas, the Brotherhood of Steel and the Enclave Remnants. The Brotherhood is the first one you can access, so let's start with them. In order to receive power armor training from the Brotherhood, you will need to make contact with them at their bunker in Hidden Valley and complete a series of quests for them. There are multiple bunkers in the area. The one that houses the Brotherhood looks like this and says ban the bomb. In order to enter the bunker, your character will need to learn of the Brotherhood's location from Yes Man or House or pick up an access code from a dead paladin. For this video, I obtained the information from Yes Man. When you arrive, the Brotherhood will strip you of all your belongings, put an explosive collar on your neck, and ask you to deal with an NCR Ranger in a nearby bunker. Go find the Ranger and get rid of him with a speech check or just eliminate him. You can bypass this part by bringing Veronica along as your companion. She is a Brotherhood of Steel member and will be able to get you into the bunker no problem. I'd like a large atomic shake and a double Brahmin burger. And easy on the agave sauce this time. We gave you a password, Veronica. It's for your safety. I know where you live, Ramos. Open up. For Pete's sake, opening up. Welcome back, Veronica. Veronica can be recruited at the 188 trading post west of Boulder City. Now the real quest begins. Elder McNamara will ask you to find three Brotherhood patrols that went missing. As you are leaving, Paladin Harden will ask for your help in removing McNamara as Elder and installing himself as the new group's leader. You can side with either McNamara or Harden and still get power armor training. For this video, we'll just side with McNamara since it's the most straightforward. Go find the three patrols, then you'll be asked to obtain reports from three scouts, and finally, you will have to visit three different vaults to recover parts to repair the air filtration systems in the Hidden Valley Bunker. This is basically one long fetch quest. Once you've completed all the tasks for McNamara, speak with him again and ask to join the Brotherhood of Steel. He will give you one more task, to install a radio monitoring device at Black Mountain. This area is crawling with Nightkin and Super Mutants, so be ready to defend yourself. You need to get to the second floor radio tower building which is locked. The key is found nearby, underneath the staircase. Grab it, head inside, and install the device. When you return to Elder McNamara, you will receive power armor training and a set of T-45 armor as a reward. I had the Knights refurbish a suit of our power armor for your use. It's one of the earlier models, but it should serve you well. Now, I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? First, let's go over how to put it on. There. I think you've got the knack of it now. You should now be able to wear any kind of power armor you come across. Aside from the Brotherhood of Steel, the other group that can provide power armor training are the remnants of the Enclave. In order to locate them and get the training, you will need to complete Arcade Ganon's personal quest for Old Lang Sign. Arcade can be found at the Old Mormon Fort in Freeside. He can be recruited by improving your reputation with the followers of the Apocalypse or by passing a skill check in conversation. In this playthrough, I recruited him with the confirmed Bachelor perk. Next, you will need to increase your status with Arcade through conversation triggers which occur throughout the wasteland. You'll need to earn five points with Arcade in order to initiate the quest. There are too many triggers to go through all of them in this video, so I'll link up a wiki page that lists out each one in detail. In addition to gaining his trust, you'll need to progress the main story as well. For Mr. House, you need to wipe out the Brotherhood of Steel. For Yes Man, you need to install him into the Lucky 38 mainframe. And for the NCR, you need to kill or disconnect Mr. House. Arcade will not give this quest if you are following Caesar's Legion, however, you could still trigger it since you can pursue multiple main quest lines simultaneously. 
See the wiki for more details on how to do this quest if you're with the Legion. Once the requirements have been met, Arcade will pull you aside for a chat. I wasn't always with the followers, or with the NCR. My late father was an officer in a group called the Enclave, a remnant of America's pre-war government. You will need to locate and recruit five different remnants members. Four of them can be recruited by simply having a conversation, but for Dr. Henry, you will need to help him with his Nightkin research in Jacobstown if you have not already done so. Once you've recruited all five people, head to the Remnants Bunker, go inside, and speak with Judah. If you plan to side with the NCR, you will need to deal with Orion Moreno, either by killing him or passing a high speech check. Once that is done, you can receive power armor training and a suit of Enclave armor. Since I won't be needing my armor, makes the cockpit a bit cramped, you should take it. It'll take a few hours to show you how to use it properly, so let's get started. If you get power armor training from the Enclave before completing the Brotherhood of Steel questline, you will also unlock some unique dialogue with them. Now I suppose I'm going to have to show you how to use it, aren't I? Would you like to tell me where you learned such a thing? No, don't bother. A person as well-traveled as yourself is bound to pick up all kinds of skills, I suppose. Luckily, that's not all I have for you. It's also worth pointing out that there are a handful of power armor suits in the game that do not require training. Specifically, the NCR Salvage Power Armor can be worn without training. However, it lacks some of the bonuses of normal power armor, such as the boost to strength and radiation resistance. So there you have it. All ways to receive power armor training in Fallout New Vegas. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more Fallout and RPG videos. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. See ya!